Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Coffee with Codes. Today we are going to understand about linked list. In this video we are going to learn what is linked list, what are the properties of it, how it works and the three main operations of linked list, what are nodes, how to define a node. So if you are opting for any IT job like TCS, Infosys, Mindtree, Capgemini, Cognizant, Wipro. So this kind of companies focuses on data structure and linked list is the main part of it. So if you want to learn it, please keep connected till the end. So let's start. So let's first understand what is linked list. Linked list is a data structure used for storing collection of data. So a linked list is a linear collection of data elements whose order is not given by physical placement in memory. Instead, each element points to the next element. It is a data structure consisting of a collection of nodes which together represent a sequence. In its most basic form, each node contains a data and a reference to the next node in the sequence. So this structure allow for efficient insertion or removal of elements. So this is linked list. So let understand linked list with the help of a diagram. Okay. So there is a start pointer. This is a start pointer in a linked list. So if there are three nodes, let's suppose this is node number one. This is first node. This is second node and this is third node. Okay. So this is a pointer. This is a pointer start. So this pointer will store the address of this node, the, of the first node. So if let's suppose the address of this node is 1000. So here 1000 will be stored. Okay. And a node consists of two things. One is the information and the other is the pointer which will store the address of the next node. That means this pointer will store the address of this node. Let's suppose the address of this node is 2000. So here 2000 will be stored and in this variable any values can be stored. So like this a linked list is formed. That means a single node have a data and a pointer block. This pointer will store the address of the next node. So let's suppose the address of this node is 3000. So here 3000 will be stored. So here uh, again a data information will be stored and a pointer block will be there because this is the last node. So it will store a null value. Okay. So like this a linked list is formed. So let's see the properties of a linked list. So let's go through the properties of linked list. The first property says successive elements are connected by pointers. So as per the previous uh, diagram, we can see that this node have been connected by this pointer because this pointer is storing the value of this node and this node has been connected by this pointer because the address of this uh, a node has been stored in this pointer. 
and this node has been connected with this point so the statement says successive elements are connected by pointers the second point say it can grow or shrink size during execution of a program the biggest advantage of linked list is it can grow and shrink its size that means if i have to add a another node i have to store one more data and i have to make one another node let's suppose it is the fourth node and then i can connect this with uh, by storing the value of this node's address let's suppose this is 4000 so here in place of null it will be stored 4000 so so we can increase the length of the and this will store null and this will store value so like this way we can increase the size of the linked list or else we can delete first node or the last node from the linked list to decrease it okay so the third point says it can be made just as long as required yes agar dekha jaye to array mein kya hota hai array mein pehle hi hame bata dena padta hai ki ha ye array ka size 1000 hai ya 2000 hoga to us hisab se wo array ban jata hai to agar hum 1000 ke jagah agar hum 500 values bhi store karte hain tab bhi hamara 500 memory aise hi waste hota hai aur agar usse zyada karna pada to tab bhi hame प्रॉब्लम होता है कि हम उसको फिर से बड़ा करें सो so, इसीलिए लिंक लिस्ट इस चीज में बहुत ही इजी होता है तो दैट्स व्हाई वी यूज लिंक लिस्ट इन प्लेस ऑफ एरे द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज लास्ट एलिमेंट पॉइंट टू नल यस द लास्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ द लिंक लिस्ट पॉइंट्स टू नल लेट्स सी सो एज वी कैन सी दिस इज द पॉइंटर ऑफ द लास्ट नोट see this is containing null when this was the last node then this pointer was containing null now this is containing the address of the last node and this is containing the null so the last point says it does not waste memory space yes as per our requirement we can increase or decrease the number of nodes so no memory will be wasted okay so let's move to the next slide mainly there are three types of linked list operations one is insertion the insertion says that means you can insert a new data in the linked list the deletion what the deletion does you have can delete from a particular place that means you can delete a particular node and traversing that means you can reverse the full linked list so here we will learn how to define a node so here we can see a node is defined with the help of a struct function structure function okay so struct was the keyword for structure and node we have given the name of the function and the brace opens here and in this function there is a info variable which is a integer data type and uh, this is the data we were talking about here in info we will store a value okay we can store the values and here see a pointer has been initialized and the name i have given is link and it is a struct node that means it is a node type pointer so what type of pointer it is it is a node type pointer and this pointer only is going to store the addresses of the next node okay so here the value will be stored and in this pointer the next node address will be stored okay and the brace ends with a semicolon so this is how we will define a node with the help of a structure function okay so moving to the next slide so here we will learn 
how to define a start pointer so as you remember a link list start with a pointer and i have given named it as start so this is a start pointer and uh, we we have to define this pointer also because this is the start pointer and after this the node starts okay the node 1 node 2 starts so how to define we have seen how to define a node and after that we have written struct node star start equals to null that means we have taken a pointer called start and the data type is node this is a primitive data type and it is a node and we have declared it as null okay so because when we are initializing the start pointer so it will not contain any address because there is no node no value has been entered till now so it will store null so this will store null in the beginning that's why this is a very important concept and the interviewer may ask you that why start pointer is declared null so you have to say that there is no node till now no value has been entered till now so the start pointer don't have an address to point so that's why it contains null okay so let's move to our last slide this is a question very important question why start pointer initially contain null so as i have told you it is because at the time of initialization start pointer does not indicate towards any address since till now no node is formed so when the start refers to null that means the list is empty so this is also one more important concept that how can you understand that the list is empty or not so you have to say if the start pointer start pointer is null that means the list is empty otherwise the list is not empty so this is an important question which examiner may ask you so i hope you understood the concept of linked list if you face any problem please comment us below and if you liked our videos please give us a thumbs up and share with your friends so if you want us to make more videos on linked list programming so you may uh, write to us in the comment section so we will make further uh, programming videos on linked list so Thank you for watching this video. If you are not a subscriber till now, please hit the subscribe button below and press the bell icon so that you never miss a video from Coffee with Codes. Bye.